In July of 2016, the 104th Area Support Medical Company of the Maryland Army National Guard conducted its annual training exercises at Naval Medical Center Portsmouth near Virginia Beach. We're an area support medical company, which means that we have three different platoons. We got, uh, we got headquarters, which pretty much runs all of our operations, and uh, then we got treatment platoon, and we have ambo platoon, which is what we are. Our role is to stabilize patients uh, initially and get them to treatment platoon where our providers are. The unit's providers include experts in trauma, x-ray imaging, dental care, blood work, and many other functional areas. Here in the trauma ward, Sergeant Michael Conlon reveals why this annual training is so unique. You're getting experience not just with, with soldiers or with uh, people in the Navy, but children, you know, civilians, people from the community. In an active hospital, any day is an unknown. It can range from stomach aches and stub toes to actual gunshot wounds, trauma. Just down the hall from the ER, Sergeant Joseph Alamany was remarkably calm as he managed a constant ebb and flow of patients in the blood work lab. We're actually in the phlebotomy room of the hospital, and in the phlebotomy room we take uh, samples from patients, so inpatients or outpatients, uh, or samples are brought down from the wards uh, throughout the hospital. For the 104th ASMC, annual training doesn't get any more real than total penetration in a highly active hospital. Their civilian careers cover the gambit, but as these young soldiers remind, anyone with the right mindset is poised to succeed at the 104th Area Support Medical Company. I joined when I was 17. I just wanted to help people. You that you know you start doing it and it, it just clicks. It feels right. You're excited all the time to do whatever you're doing the chance to save somebody's life. I just felt like this is exactly what I want to be doing forever. For the Maryland National Guard Public Affairs Office, I am Sergeant Ryan Noyes.